has been waiting since the beginning of the show. So we're going to go ahead and take Charles in Arkansas, and this is on how to deal with family who's religious. Um, you're an atheist, and you're on with Tracy and Jen. Hey, guys. How's it going? Really good. Um, I'm glad you can accept my call. I've, uh, like I said, I've got a problem with my mother, and it's she's been a theist her whole life, you know, church camp every year, and all my life, she's just not ever wanted to just kind of let go of being, you know, a mother like her son's growing up. She's always wanted to kind of tell me how <laughs> to do things, what I believe, especially. And whenever I started questioning that, it was all I got was, oh, you know, that's that's taboo. And, you know, you, you should really go to church. You know, it wasn't ever it was never a thing of. Like oh okay well you know you're your own per you're your own person I respect that <laughs> right. and yeah. to this day like I'm I'm 27 years old and uh, she, she moved back in with me after she got cancer again oh and, man and this is the third time and uh, but I don't know how to get her to understand that I'm grown <laughs> and it's like she she will not listen to any kind of rational argument that I tell her like, Hey, this, this does not go with what's real. And they just say, so, well, you don't need to give up on God. And I just don't she, know what to do. Is she proselytizing to you? Like, it, um, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what that word means. Is she, is she bringing up the is subject? Is she the one that's broaching this, uh, the ideas of the God ideas and the religious discussion? Um, yes, yeah, some, sometimes she is. Um, it'll, she'll kind of, you know, bounce it off of a thing like, you know, God's doing, you know, good work, you know, and, you know, the cancer is going away because of him. And, you know, obviously I'm thinking, no, it's because of the, the medicine that they have, mom. Um, Do you say that or, or are you lot. just thinking that? Uh, sometimes I start to say it. Ooh, that's that's harsh, dude. You're harsh. I mean, I'm just gonna say, I, 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 you know, far be it for me to tell people how to, you know, deal with their interpersonal relationships. But man, that's got you got more brass than I do because if somebody were dealing with cancer treatment and they were like, God is really helping me, I think I would probably be like, that's nice for you. You know, I'm not well, sure. I'd be yeah, like, oh, I I'm think it's the medicine. <laughs> and, I mean, I, I'm not trying to just, you know, bust her bubble, but I, I'm. It's just that I've heard this for so long from her, her parents and stuff, and I was like, y'all are not even giving it the thought that this may not be, you know, a god. It's like this might be the. The, the medicine that they've been working on for years. Yeah, yeah but God has God has cured her twice now. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I shouldn't. But, uh, I mean, I I say that as somebody who has you know went through um, cancer in my own life with my husband. So I'm like you know making that joke as one of not um, from the outside. But it's like you know yeah, God has inflicted cancer on you the third time now. Like what? He, boy, he sure wants to prove his you and, know his power here and, and, and his I've, healing powers. I've I've said that a couple of times. It's like, well, why does he not cure you? Why does he just keep dragging this on? And she's always given the, the answer, like, well, you know, he just wants he just wants us to make sure that we look to him and and stuff like that. It's like, <laughs> if that's what's happening, I don't want to look to him. Yeah, he's not doing it. Yeah, no, I hear you, man. And but I, it's like I just, I, I, my, my heart would would fail me when it comes to something. Like, I don't, I don't think yeah. I could go there with a cancer patient. Yeah, like, it's like <laughs> people, people with some kind of, oh. you know, serious illness like that. They tend to be pretty um, vulnerable. Emotional, yeah, emotionally vulnerable, yeah. and I don't really think it's a productive conversation to try to, like, disabuse them of. I mean, they're, they're I understand. I mean, I don't let me, situation. don't get me wrong. Like, I'm not saying give <clears throat> mom carte blanche to keep throwing her right. God around if she's using this as like her leverage, right? That would be horrible for somebody to say, now that I have cancer, they won't say anything to me and I can keep pushing God at them. Um, but I mean, if she really is just owning these comments and you don't think that there's a passive aggressive bent to it, if she's just kind of expressing like, I'm so glad that God is helping me, um, maybe just kind of, 
pick up a newspaper at that point and you know i don't yeah, know i, I mean know what you're saying. it's your call it's your mom and you guys have your own relationship and and maybe i just don't understand it you know i just think about my own relationships and that might not be the way to approach it um but it's just like i just dude you got that's some brass like really and I, it's not that i just want to like <laughs> hurt her feelings or just you know tear down her you know god wall i I don't want her to just have hope in something that really is highly unlikely. I don't want her to just to have, well, you know, clinging to something. I want her to be able to like, hey, this is working. The medicine is working. So, you know, so instead she's, of thinking. Is, is she continuing with her medical treatment? Yes. Um, her doctors have said that she'll have okay. to do it the rest of her life. That's what's keeping her alive. Okay. Well, as long as she's continuing with the medical treatment, then... You could think of the God stuff as her extra thing that she's got going on right. that doesn't really help anything, but, you know, that's fine. A comfort thing. Yeah, because, I mean, it, it, the, the only time I would get concerned about this and maybe come at her a little harder is if she decided she was going to discontinue treatment because yeah. she— is, God's going to you know, cure me <laughs> or, yeah. or God's going to call yeah, me that, home. that'd be completely irrational. Especially yeah. if it uh, wasn't something that was terminal unless she discontinued the treatment. <clears throat> I mean, if somebody's terminal, I fully support their decision to discontinue treatment if they feel like it's time. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah. But, you know, if, if if someone has the ability to, you know, continue treatment and, you know, it, it would offer a reasonable chance at a good quality of life and they decide to discontinue because of prayer, then I'd probably come at them pretty hard over that. But. And, and I, I just want to ask, because I don't want to be unfair to you, um, so is are the comments and is the exchange like pretty much along the lines of the example you gave or is there more going on like is mom maybe pushing harder like i just want to understand a little bit uh well like i, I was going to get to this um that she doesn't she doesn't acknowledge that i can have my own beliefs and that you know, she doesn't acknowledge that I'm just trying to explain things to her. And I don't know if it's a a thing like a power thing. I don't know if it's a security thing. Can you give me an example? Like, give me an example of the type of thing she says that reflects what you just described. It's like, um, like, like she was talking to my dad. They've been divorced a while, but she was talking to him. Like, you know, you need to talk to Charlie. You know, he need, you need to tell him he needs to go to church. She's, yeah, is she having this not. conversation in front of you? Like you're privy to this, and she knows no, it? No, they, they, they don't. But I've, you know, been talked to by my dad, and okay, so your dad told you this. You know, okay, okay. Your mom's been talking to me. Okay, and I just don't. It's it's like, it's like they think that they have any kind of bearing on what I believe in personally, and it's like, it's like a, like y'all, I'm an adult. I can think. So what does your dad do? I, I like, does know. does your dad just call you and say, your mom called and said, I need to pressure you some more about Jesus? Or like, how does that conversation go? No, um, usually it's face to face. Well, okay. So you ta and, you're you in the same area as your dad and he comes over and says, I need to pressure you about Jesus because your mom called me and asked me to? Like, it'll, it'll go along the lines of like, Hey, your mom said you're mad at God, and <laughs> okay, really so, I, I'm not mad at God, you know. And, look, but he'll say, you know, hey, your your mom doesn't have okay. cancer because of. Okay, this uh, is this uh, is so, where they're getting out of line. All right, now yeah, now it, I'm understanding a little bit more. Yeah, you can shut that down. I, sometimes <laughs> I have a hard time articulating myself. Sometimes no, sorry. just just <laughs> tell them, look, I'm not going to church. I don't have the same beliefs. Yeah, you can go to church if you want to. It won't be with me. Right, and. Um, and you can insist that they stop pressuring you to go to church. Right. And if they if they continue to do that, you can explain to them that this is going to impact your relationship with them because that crosses into um, abusive uh, behavior on their part, and you don't have to put up with that shit. Yeah, yeah that's, 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 I, I definitely that's, think that you can tell them that that's a conversation you're not willing to have and that, yeah. you know, if they want to come and visit, you're fine with it. You lo I love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. Glad the cancer treatments are going well. Glad you got your religious supports or whatever, but I don't need them. And if we're going to have a relationship and we're going to have conversations, maybe you're not at the level where you want to say if we have a relationship, but if, if we're going to have these conversations... Um, 
I want to have conversations that we enjoy, and I don't enjoy it when you're when you're like you know doing your your yeah. Jesus stuff with me. So just leave it alone. And you know, if God wants me, call me. You know, to come back. He, I'm sure He yeah. knows where I am. So. Yeah, you know. feel free to pray all you want. <laughs> yeah, and, pray and for that, me, and yeah. God will let God make that decision whether or not I need to believe again. And I think a little bit of it is like a power thing. I'm not entirely sure, but it seems that way a little bit. But yeah, it's control. Yeah. <laughs> it's uh, definitely yeah. controlling. It's very controlling. My, my family's my family is very hostile, and uh, I you know especially if you're Muslim or gay or <laughs> black to some extent. Um, well, that hate you know, me. Just to some extent, <laughs> not not like extreme, like you know, you know, shooting people, thankfully. No, no, I um, understand. They're but just... they're just they're that way, and like you know, they're the they have the old, you know, the old typical South mentality to some degree of some people, and it's hard to get past that. Like, hey, you know, you gotta you gotta think this way. You gotta go to church. You gotta not like black people. You gotta, because you know, Jesus like, loves bigots. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it's it's like it's hard to get to them. Like, hey, not I don't have to think like that, and I don't. Like, why can't y'all accept that? Yeah, and but, but uh, who knows? They might see this, and I might be in more trouble. <laughs> but I doubt you know, they're watching. I would say, I, though, I that doubt it too. all you have to do is just say, "We're not having this conversation." What else would you like to talk about? And if they push it, then just be like, don't have time for it. Um, see, you know, got to roll. Talk to you later, Dad. And it sounds like Mom is kind of um, using Dad as a conduit, so you're probably not having the same issues with Mom. But I think after after uh, after I just keep, you know, dropping the issue that eventually they're going to start wanting to, you know, walk on me, and then eventually I'd have to defend myself. Like, hey, this is the reason. Do you want? Do you want to listen? I will tell you. Or do you not want to listen? Yeah, and yeah. that's a—I mean, that's a—that's a fair approach too to say, you know, if, if I'm going to listen to your, you know, preach session, then you're going to sit and listen to me, okay? I mean, if you want to go that route, you yeah, can. Yes. Who knows? I mean, maybe maybe Dad's more reasonable. I don't know. It's kind of hard to oh, envision no, this. Not, but, um, yeah, I know what you're saying. <laughs> but, um, I'd be like, hey, didn't I divorce yeah, you? He's over eighteen. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we having this conversation? Yeah, <laughs> it's. It's it's a it's a mess, um, but anyway, I appreciate it. I'll let y'all go. All right.